welcome to Friendly AI. I'm your host, Mike Colangelo, and since I was a wee baby boy, I always looked up to the stars and hoped that one day I could explore the vast distances of space. Also, maybe I could find a girlfriend up there because all the girls down here just want to be friends. But the closest thing that can only simulate happiness in my pitiful existence on this rock is a space simulator game called Elite Dangerous. And for those that have not played Elite Dangerous, it's a game where you pilot sexy spaceships and explore a realistic one-to-one -one scale open world galaxy based on the real Milky Way. Yes, the Milky Way where you are right now. How cool is that? Finally, you could fly right up to Uranus without being judged by society. Yes, you can trade goods, mine resources, have space battles, even fly to Saturn's moon Titan and lick a space slug. Space slugs also double up as fleshlights. If there's a will, there's a way, boys. But the problem with making a space simulator based on the real Milky Way is you have to do some guesstimating on what planets and floating alien feces look like up close. Because any educated person knows that Hubble can only look so far. And as NASA learns more about the heavens and updates its data and photos, Elite Dangerous has to be updated to maintain its space accuracy. And that is exactly what happened with the dwarf planet Pluto. No, it's not a planet of little people. Reality is just never that fun. And yes, Pluto is a planet. I don't care what you say. But on July 14th, NASA's New Horizons spacecraft passed Pluto and took some high-res photos of the surface. It has taken nine years for New Horizons to reach Pluto, and NASA says it was totally worth it. And more importantly, now they can update the Elite Dangerous version of Pluto. I'm incredibly shallow and lack perspective. This is what Pluto looks like in the game, and as you can see, it's nothing like the latest NASA photos. Developer of Elite Dangerous, Frontier Developments revealed their plans for the Pluto revisions on their weekly update. They also pointed out that Elite Dangerous takes place in the year 3001, which means for Pluto, five more orbits around our sun and five more heating cooling cycles. So they have to make Pluto slightly different than the current visual reality. Hey Frontier, nerd alert! This is me pushing up my glasses, not a little cock on my nose by the way. But the uploading process of Pluto is not so simple. I mean, they're not going to download a high-risk image from NASA and click a big green button that says update. It's going to take some time to do it properly. This is what Frontier's assistant art director John Patone says about the complexities of the Pluto facelift. All our planets are built using a sophisticated simulation so that one day you can get close to them. Really close. He goes on to say, Right now every planet can only be observed from afar, but Elite Dangerous is designed for the future, and by sticking to the simulation and constantly improving it to make it as real as possible, we can be sure the canyons and mountains you see from space will accurately be reflected when you skim close to the surface, or even land upon it. Wow, one day you might be able to land on them, that's cool. So Frontier's actually waiting for even more information from NASA to make Pluto as accurate as possible. So maybe one day you can fly into a Pluto canyon and commit suicide because your family doesn't recognize you as a real man. I mean, only if you want to, of course. It's not me, I'm a, my family thinks I'm great. They, they asked if I was gay. I highly recommend Elite Dangerous, but be warned there is a lengthy learning curve. It is a true simulation after all. It'd be helping if you're good at the book learning and the reading and the writing and the fancy gay math. Elite Dangerous is available now for the Windows PC or Mac. Real gamers don't own a fucking Mac! <laughs> On top of my iMac, I own a gaming PC and all three consoles. I'm not a real gamer. Really? Come on, you ass clowns. Elite Dangerous is also available on Xbox One, but only through the Game Preview program, which is just like early access on Steam. As always, I'll leave links to my sources. Anything else would be the YouTube equivalent of pig fucking. Let me know what you think of the Pluto update. Have you played Elite Dangerous? Did you like it? Were you in space? Aloysius here goes up to space all the time. I have no idea how he breathes up there. Something to do with the science of his beak, the way space-time wraps around his head. Oh, fuck it. Just trust me. You can follow me on Twitter. I promise you loyalty and friendship. Also, I'm going to keep you up to date with games news and my videos. And I made a website called Facebook for you, so like it, link below. Thank you very much for watching, and if you're new to my channel, please subscribe, and when Earth runs out of natural resources, I will save you with my spaceship. And when I say spaceship, I mean my penis. Small dick style. I put some cream on my face, it's very oily today. That ain't olive oil. Yeah, you look like a greasy pig fucker. I'm sure everyone's thought about this, but sex in space, do you think a load's gonna hit you in the face? I didn't mean that to rhyme. I don't want a load to hit my face. Not in zero G anyways. Follow me on Twitter, I promise you loyalty, friendship, and dick pics. No. No, not dick pics. People actually will call me up on that, and I'll be- I'll do it too. I'll get arrested. I'll never be able to be around children. I'll never have my baby boy. My baby boy. Not a baby boy, my baby boy. Welcome to Friendly AI. I'm your host, Mike Arucalangelo, and I was brought to you by Warner Brothers. It'd be really weird if I didn't look into the camera, wouldn't it?
I want to go Earl Morris style. Uh, I think it's Errol. Ebs. Uh, 